Hello everyone, welcome back to my video. Here's some cat purrs for you. <laughs> Hello everyone, welcome back to my video. Wow, it's been a very long time and I am so sorry that it's taken me this long to post a video. Um, if you are on my Instagram and you've seen my post from three months ago almost, I was in a car accident. I am recovering right now and I can't get into too many details at the moment, but it's been... Um, it's been difficult, it's been stressful, um, and I just started a new job during that time, so just going through the healing process and also just learning um, and being in a new job has taken its toll and I haven't had the motivation and mostly just like doubting myself and doubting the quality of my videos and not feeling up to posting anything. I have been doing art, so what you just saw was me collecting a granulating palette, and I would love to go into more detail with that in a later video, but this video is just going to be a mashup of what I've been up to for the past couple of months. This is um, me painting the face of Orange Honey. Um, one of my favorite big painting portraits. I really enjoyed the painting process. Uh, I really loved painting the scarf around her head. Also, if you hear little kitten cries or purrs, I am currently fostering a... Well, she was two weeks old when I brought her home, and currently she's about four weeks old now. So we're getting there. She's growing really well. She's a singleton, so she requires a lot of my attention too. Anyway, <laughs> yeah, I just added like more to my plate, but that's okay. <laughs> um, anyway, my favorite part of this painting was the lips and the nose and painting the scarf. Um, painting the heart for the nose was actually a complete accident. I was struggling a little bit with um, the shape and trying to get it to look correct. And eventually I ended up accidentally doing a heart for the nose, which was pretty cool and I really love that. The lips were also kind of an accident and a little bit of an experiment. I want to practice doing ombre lips and that was kind of the result that I got and I really love it. I really enjoyed how it turned out. I've been thinking a lot about how I want to make videos going forward and I do want them to be more interesting. I feel like maybe they're not as interesting as they could be. Um, I do enjoy voiceovers. I enjoy voiceovers for other videos that I watch too, even if there's art or other things going on in the background. Um, I want the visual, but I also want the option to just listen if I'm like driving or doing work having that kind of podcast like vibe so I'm not sure it's easier for me if I didn't do voiceovers but again it's also the 
hard part where you have to type in everything that you want to say and hopefully it all comes out right. But I guess you can say the same thing with voiceovers where you're talking and you're just hoping that everything comes out right. I used to script majority of my videos and right now this is completely unscripted. I'm just kind of talking with you um, just about everything that's been going on. And I don't know if scripting is always something I'm going to do in the future. I feel like it does make the video a little bit more cohesive, but um, it takes time to script a video. And I'm kind of lacking in a lot of time to dedicate to making YouTube videos just because I'm working full time. I also have animals and I have this cute little foster kitten at the moment. and. She's probably going to be with me for maybe three or maybe three months, maybe two months. Um, so I just, I don't have a lot of time and I'm trying to find the best way to make time and make the best videos that I can. So any suggestions, what you guys like, um, I'm willing to work with anything at the moment and just take this time to figure out um, what I want to do going forward. So my plan was for October, um, I wanted to do a different kind of painting. So I wanted to use gouache and my new Grammy Lading palette. And I wanted to be in the theme of Alice in Wonderland, but that didn't really work out well as you can see. Um, so I, I did end up using some ink and I practiced a couple of different things. I did participate in Audra Eclair's Inktober prompt list. So here are some of the paintings that I did. Um, all completely in ink. I had three different inks and then I used my gold watercolor to kind of fill out some of the gold aspects. And it was really fun. I didn't think I would do Inktober in the way of traditional ink. Um, and it did push me out of my comfort zone. So this last painting I did for Inktober, I actually didn't paint a portrait. I kind of stepped away from doing portraits to do something um, more daring, for me at least. I don't usually, um, it's been a while since I painted anything other than a portrait just because I, just because my goal for this year was to get better at painting faces and painting portraits. And so I dedicated the majority of my time learning facial anatomy, painting portraits, getting better at that. And so stepping out of my comfort zone and painting something that has, n has no face in it, both figures are facing away from us. Um, it was definitely a challenge, but I enjoyed this concept and I really would like to revisit it later on when my skills for anatomy gets a little bit better. So the two prompts that I combined were raccoon, pattern, scissors, and insect. So I originally sketched out something in my sketchbook, kind of got the general anatomy and um, flow of the sketch because I've never drawn anything like this before. In all of my Inktober paintings, I used a very similar pattern and color palette throughout because I only had um, three inks to work with plus my black and white. So I feel like every piece related to each other, but if I did plan it out a little bit better, I think I could have connected them um, a little bit more.
October was definitely a busy month for me, especially for art. I try not to do more than four paintings a month because I do end up getting burnt out and then taking a very long break, which did happen. I did end up feeling a little bit exhausted after Inktober and had to take some time off from doing art um, and doing some personal pieces. So hopefully now that I'm feeling a little bit better and a little bit more recovered, I can start working on more art and sharing that with you. Okay, this is the end of the video, and thank you so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Bye, take care.